Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this interesting question related to limit definition of derivative, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is pretty interesting question about the limit definition of derivative. The question is, let f be a function that is differentiable throughout this domain and that has the following properties. Number one, f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus x cubed y minus xy cubed minus f of y. And the second limit when x is going to zero, f of x over x is equal to one. Then use the limit definition of derivative to show f prime x is x cubed minus one. Question is ready asking you to use this limit definition of derivatives. So let's think about it. So your f prime. Derivative of f of x is equal to the limit. Now h is going to 0. And then you have f of x plus h minus just f of x. And divided this by h. Okay, this is your limit definition of derivative of f of x. But then again, we have f of x plus h and f of x on your numerator. Especially for this term, f of x plus h. We can use this first condition because first condition says f of x plus y is f of x plus x cubed y minus x y cubed minus f of y. If you switch this y to the h, then that will become this first term on your numerator. So that's why the first term, f of x plus h. This is equal to f of x and plus x cubed h. Then we have minus x h cubed and then minus f of h. This is the first term. And the second term is just the f of x. So let's rewrite this limit definition of derivative of f of x. So f prime x is now equal to the limit h is going to 0. And then we will be using this expression for the first term on your numerator. Then we have f, f of x and then plus x cubed h and then minus x h cubed now minus f of h. And then we need to subtract this f of x. So that's why we have negative f of then on the denominator, it has to be just the h. Then on the numerator, we can cancel those two terms out. We have f of x and then negative f of x. So cancel those two terms out. Then we have only x cubed h minus x h cubed minus f of h. So we will be separating this limit into two of the limits. So now we can rewrite this as limit h is going to 0, and then I'll be grouping those two terms on your numerator, the first two terms. So we have x cubed h minus x h cubed over h. And then we have this minus sign, and this is going to be another limit. When h is going to 0, we have f of h over h. For the first limit, we can factor this h out. So the first limit is now the limit h is going to 0. And then factor this h out, and we have x cubed uh, minus x h squared divided this by h. So we can cancel those two h's out. Then at the same time, h is going to 0. So that's why the first limit, we will end up with only x cubed. For the second limit, this h and x this is only for the notation. So if you switch this h to the x, this is the same thing as limit x is going to 0 and f of x over x, which is already given to be 1. So that's why we just need to subtract these two, meaning your f prime x is now equal to x cubed, which is the first limit, minus 1, which is the second limit. So we just showed that your f prime x is x cubed minus 1 using only this limit definition of derivative. So I'll be back with more videos with more questions like this sometime soon.